So we have a question about my success rate with stopping smokers, which I have uh, advertised as being 98%. I have a 98% success rate with stopping people from smoking. Uh, just to give you a little background on that, my father died of emphysema uh, a few years back. He was a smoker. He even smoked in the hospital. Uh, he wouldn't stop. So uh, he's, he's gone now. And I shortly after that, uh, got on the board of directors in Los Angeles, the board of directors of the American Lung Association. I was asked by the, the chairman of the board to be on the board of directors, and I joined the board of directors. I'm not currently active on that because I no longer live in Los Angeles, but I was very active and I was brought on to bring in uh, hypnosis to uh, start spreading the word in the local community about how hypnosis uh, can help people stop smoking. And I also helped Tom Mankiewicz, the writer of Superman, the movie, stop smoking after I believe it was 40 years or so of his life. He had smoked every day. And so he, he came to me and he stopped smoking. So, uh, and also what we did, and I got more into this when I was uh, working on my, my doctorate in education actually, uh, because we started uh, I, as part of the thesis for that, uh, I was looking at uh, the efficacy of hypnosis. And so we were doing studies on that at the university level of uh, different programs that I had on hypnosis and seeing how effective they were. So what we were doing was tracking smokers uh, six months out uh, and then a year out. And we didn't follow up with them beyond that because we didn't want to bother them. You don't want to get, you know, if you stop smoking, you don't want to get a call two years later saying, hey, you're still not smoking? Because it's going to sound like, uh, you know, Stephen King's uh, book, Smoke, uh, Quitters Anonymous, where uh, they, they stalk people to make sure they've stopped smoking. Uh, so we didn't want to get into that. Uh, what we did was we followed up in a, in a very uh, professional way at, six, at the six-month mark and then at the year mark to see if they had stopped smoking. And we, we got a number from that, and the number was actually slightly higher than 98%. It was like 98.27 or so, something in that neighborhood. I don't recall the exact numbers. But we rounded down uh, because my understanding is that, you know, when you put things out to the public, they really don't want decimal places and so forth. So we rounded down to 98%. Uh, we do have some, we do have the studies. If uh, somebody wants to see them, they can uh, email my office. Uh, we, um, I believe we can, we, we cannot release the names of the people who are, who are researched, of course, but we can give you uh, more precise numbers if that's what you want. And hopefully that answers your question.